I'm back in my study room. I woke up too late again as usually. I'm going to study now and when I'm done studying I will go out training because I don't want to train when it's dark outside. So I will do that first thing in the morning after I've studied. I have my breakfast here. Again quark and I also have pineapple today for fruit. And I'm almost done with the geography and after that I will probably start working on or history or mathematics. I just accept the fact that I wake up too late every day and I just try to make the best out of it and I don't really care anymore. Maybe I can wake up on time tomorrow because this time when I tried to sleep I wasn't actually tired. I couldn't fall asleep so that's why I woke up late. Usually I wake up late because I'm just tired and I sleep for 12 hours. But now I only slept for 8 hours so maybe if I can go to bed on time today, I can wake up on time, but we will see about that. I got my new type of meal because my protein cookies were empty and I tried to put a wrap around my eggs and this was actually very nice. So I'm going to do this from now on because I like it more than eating the cookies and I can get my eggs down way more easily. I put some cheese on the eggs, but I'm not going to do that anymore because at the end of the day I noticed that I still had way too much fat in my diet. So the cheese wasn't a good replacement for the cookie and I took that out the day after. So I started the back training by doing chin-ups. I did four sets of 12 to 8 reps and I did four more reps than I did less training. So that is a nice increasing uh, number there. Last time I did 8 reps uh, for the first set and this time I hit 12 so I'm getting stronger the bulk is going great and it's nice that I'm increasing the the, um, the chin-ups because like a couple of months ago I wasn't able to do three in a row <laughs> and now I'm able to hit 12 and here you can see my beautiful outfit I have on today did pull-ups after this here I don't go all the way up to keep the biceps out of it and yeah I just feel the lats way better and at the end of the set when I'm basically fatigued and I can't get more reps I jump up and I lower myself down as slow as I can it's very hard but yeah I just lower myself as slow as I can to make the muscle more fatigued after this I did uh, the bent over row I did four sets here of 12 reps I believe and here I also increased my reps with four reps compared to last week and yeah, this, I do it a little bit more standing up, so I target the lower lats better because I don't really have an exercise to do those at home. And by standing up a little bit more, you target the lower lats better, and that's very nice. Here you can see my cheeky little flags looking swole today, having a nice pump. And I finished everything off with one and a half rep shrugs. And I actually increased the weight compared to last week. So last time I did, instead of a 10, I did a 5, I believe. And I did that for 12 reps. And this time I increased it by 10 kilograms and I did 10 reps. So it's a good increase, increasement. Is that a word? I don't know. It's a good increasement. And yeah, just doing these one and a half reps to get more of the stretch portion because that's where you traps grow the most after the training of course i had my my tuna shake and this time i didn't have enough rice cakes left to put in there and it was gross as fuck then you just have a weird texture and yeah it's, it's not good it's not good <laughs> but i had a hard time finishing this it took me like 15 minutes to do so and yeah i just try to down as much as i can but then i get a gag reflex because it was just such a weird texture it's like almost like putting sand in water and trying to drink it <laughs> eventually i finished it i had to finish it because otherwise it would be a waste and yeah here i think here you can see me gagging because yeah here <laughs> it didn't really work very well trying to drink this but uh, i went to the store uh today so tomorrow if you're watching this vlog and i buy some more rice cakes because without them this shake is undrinkable as fuck. During my cut, I 
drank it without rice cakes because I tried to lower the carbs as much as I could and drop the calories as much as I could. And it was just undrinkable. It was just like water with sand and <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that to anyone. But yeah, eventually I finished it, luckily. Otherwise it would have been a long, long night because I never throw food away. I always have to finish it because I don't like wasting my food. I buy it with my money, so <laughs> I don't like throwing it away. Yeah, I gamed a little bit after this, just an, for an hour because I wanted to edit after it. Um, the editing today went really quick and I expected it not to last long. So that's why I decided to game until it was like 10 p.m. And when it was 10 p.m. I started my editing and I actually only edited for less than an hour, I believe, today. It went really quick and that's very nice. I hope I can still do the same tomorrow with the same time. But I had my um, shake with this and I had my last meal of the day. It was rice with ground beef and egg and cottage cheese. And yeah, I just edited the video within an hour, uploaded it and tried to go to sleep on time. So I have a possibility to wake up on time tomorrow. Here I had to switch from the table to my couch because I had a, needed a charger for my iPad. But this was already the video. I hope you liked everything about it. I, I think the training video turned out very well. So I hope you liked that as well, just as much as I did. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, like the video, share it so it reaches more people and yeah, that was basically it. I see you at tomorrow's vlog, bye.